right, so the parts for Maximizer are in. Let's get to work. We're getting ready for August. All right, so I got a big list of stuff to fix before August. So today we're gonna start with the structural frame ties. In May, I had four of these aluminum bolts. The big problem with them is they weren't great when I was upside down. The nut was too tall off the frame and the plow wasn't able to protect them. So to fix this, I'm gonna switch over to steel button heads with a binding pin. The binding pin has to take up two forces. So the first is a tensile load that holds the frame together, shown here in green. The second is a shear load coming from any impact on the plow or tail. I wanted to show off how even a small part like this takes a lot of design effort. So with this design, the binding pins have a thin wall. That's not great. That could crush under a hit. So I'm gonna have to switch from the aluminum back to hardened steel. So I picked out 4140 per ASTM A108, also known as ETD150. All right, so we got our part and the quantity required on these is four for one robot. So I'm gonna go ahead and make eight just so I've got some spares. Source the half inch ETD 150 from McMaster. Whenever I've got a significant quantity of parts to do, I, I like to switch in what I call semi-production mode. So that's where I treat myself as a one man manufacturing facility. And I'm really careful about, you know, where I put my tools down, how I switch from operation to operation in order to minimize the amount of time that I'm spending on each operation. Here's my tap setup, just supporting the end of the tap handle in the tailstock. I had to check each bolt for thread engagement to make sure they were getting proper depth. Each one of these took me about 20 minutes to make, 10 minutes for one operation, nine minutes for the other. All right, so the first parts for Maximizer are done. Hardened steel binding pins. Got a lot more parts to make, so a lot more videos in the way. Thanks everybody.